Hi guys, author Reese Stevens here. I thought I'd take a few minutes to answer some questions about my book and some of my upcoming um, works that I have going on. And I thought a video would be a fun way to do that. So here we go. Um, I became a writer kind of out of necessity. My husband and I were going through a hard time um, in our personal lives with infertility and different things like that. And um, somebody suggested that I journal. And I can't write about myself like that. So um, then somebody else mentioned creative writing and I thought that that would be something more interesting for me. So I tried it and I liked it and here we are. Vengeance follows Dr. Shayla Thorne and Detective Ryan Jacobs. They were high school sweethearts and lost touch throughout the years, and it follows them rekindling the relationship. And then, you know, things are going really good, and then they get really bad. But at the heart, I think the main idea of the book is that in our life we have choices that we have to make and sometimes those choices are made by our circumstances or other people like if you're a kid or a young adult you may not have total control of your life yet so sometimes the choices that we make um, are out of necessity and sometimes those choices are wrong sometimes they're right and it just kind of follows the path of Ryan and Shayla's choices and how it brought them to where they are and it takes them on a journey that um, will either tear them apart or keep them together. Uh, the hardest part of writing this book was following an outline. I have never in my life written with an outline. I've always winged it. And that's not something that you can do when um, you're writing a mystery or any kind of suspense because everything has to connect in some way and so following an outline was really hard but I'm glad that I did it and actually now when I write an outline is necessity and it's so much easier for me so it was a learning thing. I think the easiest part of writing my novel was um, coming up with the characters Ryan and Shayla. I really felt for them and I just kind of clicked with them and I loved bringing their story together and some days I would stay up super late and just couldn't stop until I got out their thoughts and their ideas and that's one of the things that I love about writing is creating this um, new world that may not follow the ideas of today's society but it is fun and exciting and it's my absolute favorite part. My favorite character is Ryan. Um, I kind of modeled him after my husband a little bit because um, he's fiercely loyal and that's how my husband is. He's the breadwinner in our home and he um, goes out and works every day and makes sure that we have everything that we need and that's how Ryan is. He is on top of everything. He's going to get the job done no matter what. He um, is a little bit of a hothead and um, he... <laughs> But it's in a good place. I mean, he's not hes not mean. He's not angry. He just loves his family so much that he wants them to be protected at all times. He, he even goes overboard to make sure that that happens. And um, sometimes that can be annoying to Shayla. But overall, I think that Ryan has it all together and really has their best interests at heart. I love to hate the bad guy, but you know, who doesn't? We want to see the bad guy be evil and mean and cruel and the bad guy in my story is all those things, but there's also a quality that the reader has to connect to. So you have to have that little tiny bit of a squishy center that will endear them enough to the character to where they um, understand what he's doing in a way, but they still hate him. And so, um, yeah, I think Jason Mathis is the love to hate guy in my story. I think there's a few things in the story that might surprise the reader. Without giving anything away, I think that uh, maybe the bad guy might be a little surprising, or maybe Shayla's adopted father might be um, a little surprising to people. Um, but I can't really say too much without giving too many things away, so I'll just leave it at that. Book two is called Penance, and it's in the works right now. Um, it follows Judson Hardenberg, and you'll get to meet him and learn all about his life. And um, you'll see characters from the first book 
that you grew to love that you'll get to learn more about them in the second book. And there's a sneak peek into Penance at the end of Vengeance. So I hope you read that and like it. I do have some signings coming up. On Monday the 26th, I'll be at Rita Latte in Oak Hill from 6 to 8 for the very first signing ever for the Vengeance, and I hope you can come out. Um, in February the 18th, I'll have a signing in Arlington, Virginia. It's called All About the Indies, and I'll be posting more information as I get that. And I'm also looking for maybe some places locally that I can go, so if you know something, let me know. Thank you guys so much for supporting me, for watching this video. I've gotten so many positive comments and feedback from Vengeance, from the people that got early reader copies, and from just in general from the things that I've posted on the website, and it's been a tremendous support and help to me, and I really appreciate that. I hope that you love the book, and I hope that you'll go on Amazon and review, because for an indie author, the way that we get noticed are our reviews, and you have to have at least 50 on Amazon for them to kind of help you out a little bit and put you in their newsletter or their notifications. So um, I hope that you will do that. And thank you again so very much. And I hope that you have a great weekend. And I'll see you on Monday.